What is up everyone, welcome back to the channel and welcome to the beginning of Until Dawn. Yes, we are playing another horror game here today and it seems to be an ongoing theme here on the channel at the moment. We have been playing a lot of horror games here recently, but uh, honestly I am enjoying them so why not? And uh, I did do a poll on the community tab asking what should we play next and until Dawn and God of War, they both were quite close in the voting. However, Until Dawn ever so slightly did win. But uh, who knows, maybe we'll do God of War after we finish this. So I'm super excited to check this out today. First time playing it. This is a huge story based game from what I've heard. And it's also a big decision making game as well. So hopefully you guys enjoy if you do please smash that like button i'd hope to see this first episode do well and with all that being said guys let's hop on into it the butterfly effect a tiny butterfly flapping in its wings today may lead to a devastating hurricane weeks from now The smallest decision can dramatically change the future. Your actions will shape how the story unfolds. Your story is one of many possibilities. Ah, so does that mean we could have multiple endings? Choose your actions carefully. Oh, hello. Creepy cabin in the woods. Someone's watching us. Oh my god, I can't believe you actually did this. Shh, shh, shh. Don't you guys think this is a little bit wrong? Oh, come on, she deserves it. It is not her fault that she has a huge crush on my Hannah's been making the moves on him. I'm just looking out for my girl, Em. Just because he's class prez doesn't mean he belongs to everyone. Mike is my man. Hey, Em, I'm not anybody's man. <laughs> Whatever you say, darling. That. Oh, so creepy. Hey, did you see that? Dad said it'd just be us this weekend. Josh. Oh, oh, we're playing. Okay. Hi. What do we have here? Uh, press and hold R2 to pick up the note. Okay, oh no, wait. Wait. I missed what that said. Uh, use the right stick to inspect. Ah, here we go. Hannah, you look so damn hot in that shirt. But I bet you're even hotter out of it. Come to the guest room at 2 a.m. Mike, kiss, kiss, kiss. Oh my god. What did our naive sister get herself into now? Ugh. I don't know. Intervention time. OK. 
Okay, well, these guys are sleeping. Looks like the parted a little too hard, if you ask me. What's this? Okay, inspect the bottle. Okay, yep. It's all gone. They drank it all. Jeez, Josh. <laughs> Once again, brother, you've outdone us oh. all. I got your note. I'm glad you can make it. Maybe we should start with a little, you know, making out and see where it goes from there. on her. Uh, use the right stick to choose. Uh-oh. We got a decision already. Uh, wait Josh or find others. I mean, honestly, Josh does not look in any shape to help us, so I'm gonna say find others. Guys, there's someone outside. What the hell? Hannah! What's going on? Where's my sister going? It's fine. She just can't take a joke. It was just a prank, Han. What did you do? We were just messing around, Beth. It wasn't serious. You jerks! Hannah! Hannah! So, should we go after her? You know, I kind of think you're the last person she wants to see right now, Mike. Oh. Press the correct oh, action shit. button before the timer runs. Uh oh. Whoa. Okay. <sighs> Gotta pay attention now. I don't want to mess up already. I'm not trying to get anyone killed just yet. Uh, we're gonna go save. This is my first time playing, and like I say, I don't want to mess up. All right. I want to try and keep people alive, if possible. Uh oh. Uh, follow the footprints, follow the noise. Uh, follow the footprints. Clearly somebody went this way. Uh oh. Just take it nice and easy. Oh! Yeah, that, that is not taking it easy. Fuck! Shit! Oh gosh. Damn it, Hannah! Where are you? I mean, why did she run off anyway? I know they played a prank on her, but would you really run out into the cold and the dark by yourself? I don't think so. I use the touch pad as shown. Hannah! Can use this to control the light. Uh, not that it's very helpful, to be honest. But sure. The camera angles are kind of awkward as well. Okay. Gonna take a minute to get used to that. Oh! Goodness. Okay. Jump scares already. Wonderful. Yeah, walk faster. We should probably get to move on. We're out here by ourselves and it's freezing. And I'm Hello? scared. Where did she run off to? Oh, what's that? Is that a shoe? Oh, that is not a shoe. What is it? Uh, hello? No? Oh my gosh. Okay, please pick that back up. These controls are gonna take a minute to get used to, okay? I apologize. Oh! What the hell? A death totem? Oh. What, what did wait? What was that? Why is it showing me that? Is that us? Are we gonna die? Oh, we can't see it again. Oops, okay. Is there a way? Um, 
Ah, here we go. Totem prophecies. Black death. The possible death of the person who finds it. Oh, that's not good. So does that mean we're gonna die? Is that how we're gonna die? That's not good, okay. Huh? Oh. What was that? Okay, these Hannah! are creepy woods. Hannah, you are brave. Running out here by yourself? What were you thinking? Oh my. What is that? Someone's got a flamethrower. That? Well, that sounds. Hannah. Hannah. Hannah! Oh my god, you must be freezing. Here, take my coat. I'm such an idiot. I'm so dumb. Oh, what's that? Hannah? Beth? Uh, run? <laughs> Hannah! Uh oh. What the hell is that? both i literally said i want i want to try not to kill everyone and i killed two people right away before we begin there are a few things i need to make sure you understand you see no one can change what happened last year the past is beyond our control you have to accept this in order to move forward. But there is freedom in this revelation. Everything you do, every decision you make from now on will open doors to the future. I want you to remember this. I want you to remember this as you play your game. Every single choice will affect your fate and the fate of those around you. So. You have committed to commence with this game. This is significant. And I want to help you see it through. Sometimes, sometimes these things can be a little scary, even terrifying, but I'm here to make sure that no matter how upsetting things may get, you will always find a way to work through it. Hmm? All right. We will start with a simple exercise. Could you please pick up the card? And I want you to look at the picture on the other side and tell me what you feel about it. It, it is essential that you answer honestly in order to get the most out of this experience. Okay. So, how did that picture make you feel? Remember, be honest. It makes me feel happy. I feel uneasy. I mean, I wouldn't say it makes me happy, but I wouldn't even say I feel uneasy. Um, let's just say uneasy, because it doesn't make me happy. Okay. Honesty is good. Yes. What do you think it is that? Makes you feel uneasy. Uh, probably the fact that there's a scarecrow in a cornfield and it's just, it's just a little creepy. I'll say the scarecrow. 
Well, I see. I see. Let's see. The scarecrow were not there. Would you feel comfortable staying there on your own for a period of time? Say, Definitely not. For example. No. I would not stay there. No. It's creepy. Oh, no? Why not? Uh, it's creepy. I'd be scared, yeah. I'm not going to stay there. It's not for me. Is there something else in that picture that scares you? This guy's so weird. Uh, yes, there is. No, I'm not sure. Um, yeah, it's just weird. I don't like the place. <sighs> That's intriguing. But perhaps we can explore the depths of your fears the next time we meet. I'm afraid we're out of time for now. Okay. Well, nice to meet you. Today is the one-year anniversary of the dreadful tragedy that took place on Mount Washington. Annie Klein was in charge of the investigation. Thanks for having me, Marty. Listeners, an update on Hannah and Beth Washington, the twins who are still missing. One year ago tonight, the Washington girls left the safety of their parents' lodge and headed out into a snowstorm. Foul play. Not officially, no. There is one individual we're considering as a person of interest, but his whereabouts are currently unknown. He has an interesting history with the Washington family. He had warned them against pursuing their construction project and claimed the land was sacred to his forefathers. You know, there is still the old sanatorium on the mountain. Could he be hiding there? My officers did search the grounds, but the girls themselves couldn't have made it that far. Something about that mountain seems to breed tragic events. More than you know, Marty. Thank you for joining us, Anne. With all the Washingtons tonight, their son Josh, on this, the anniversary of the mysterious disappearance of Hannah and Beth Washington. Well, hello, friends and fans. All right, let's do that again. All right. Well, hello, friends and fans. It's beyond awesome to have you guys all back this year. Um, first off, I gotta say, I am super excited to welcome all my pals back to the annual Blackwood Winter Getaway. Ah! <laughs> so, um, let me just let you know, uh, let's take a moment to address the elephant in the room for a second. I know you're all probably worried about me, and I know it's gonna be tough on all of us going back after what happened last year, but... I just want you all to know, um, it means, it means so much to me that we're doing this. And that, I know it would mean so much to Hannah and Beth that we're, we're all still here together. And I'm thinking of them. I really want to spend some quality time with e each and every one of you and, um, just share some moments that we'll never forget for, 
for the sake of my sisters and, you know. Okay, so let's party like we're fucking porn stars, okay? Make this one trip we will never forget, all right? Yes! <laughs> all right. <laughs> Sounds fun. All right, so it's a year later from what I gathered. So the thing is, I'm pretty sure that we couldn't save those girls then. Because the only two options we had was to drop Hannah or to let go. So either way, obviously we drop Hannah, we're going to kill her. But to let go, we're only going to kill both of us. So I think that they were supposed to die. I think that was the only option. Unless I'm wrong. If there was a way to save those, please let me know. I don't want to have messed up already. And we came back here one year later. I'm not sure if I'd come back here, to be honest. Okay, ten hours until dawn. Alright. Here we go. Oh, what? Is that guy again? Blackwood Pines. So who is this guy that keeps watching us? Sam, Hannah's best friend, diligent, considerate, and adventurous. Hannah's the one who died, right? Hello? Someone there? Oh, creepy. I can hear someone breathing. Sam, path to cable car station 2102. Oh, wow. I hear the snow under my feet. Crunchy. Okay, we can use the right stick to move the camera. Cool. Good to know. Also, why have they left it until dark to come, to come here? Why would you not come back in the daytime? Which makes zero sense. The gate's busted. Climb over. Chris. Wow, what? Well, Damn it. it said we like to be adventurous, so... Adventure, here we come. Safe or quick? We're gonna go safe. I'm always probably gonna pick safe because... Oh my. <sighs> okay, pay attention. Oh my. Okay, I also need to pay attention to those. Uh, jump. Is that, is that a good idea? I don't know why I did that. I just panicked. I don't like the timer. This is how things could easily get messed up. When you have to quickly make a decision like that. This is where things are probably going to go bad. This is where I'm probably going to get people killed. It's like a horror film. That's what it feels like. It feels like I'm watching a horror film. Aww. Hey, little fella. When the don't move icon Don't is on the screen, keep huh? the wireless controller as still as possible. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Cutie. I don't like that. Don't move. Oh gosh. There's gonna be moments where we're not gonna be able to move. Oh gosh, okay. What have I got myself into? What's that? <laughs> cool. Is it cool? Tribes who once lived in these mountains believe that butterflies carried dreams and prophecies of possible futures. The colour of the butterfly indicated the nature of the prophecy. Death is black. The dreamer's death. Danger is red. Warns of dangerous events. Loss is brown. Foretold of tragedy affecting friends. Guidance is yellow. Offered visions to help and guide. White is fortune. Brought dreams of luck and good future. Fortune. 
Okay. I don't know if I'm going to remember all those, but sure. Why not? Oh, okay, here we go. As you explore, you can discover totem artifacts. Picking a totem up and turning it will reveal a coloured butterfly and... Premonition! Okay. Yellow. I forgot what that one was already. I think it was good. I think yellow was guidance. Yes, guidance totem. Let's see. Uh, a vision of guidance for a future choice. The future is uncertain. Whether or not the prophecy comes true depends on the choices you make. Press R1 at any time to view the totem collect uh, collection. What does that say? The past is beyond beyond our control. Is that written in blood? Or is that just red spray paint? Considering it's a horror game, it's probably blood. Chris? Are you here? Hello, am I all alone? I hope not. Oops. Someone's backpack is here. Bag's here, where are you? Huh. You're not in the bag, are you? What's that? Hello, what do we have here? Okay, snoop or close the bag. I mean, I'm not gonna snoop. That, that is not my business, you know? Maybe I shouldn't yes. Stuff. We shouldn't look through other people's things, okay? Would you like someone looking through your things? Chris? Sam, hey, you made it. Chris has a crush on Ashley, is methodical, protective, and humorous. Oh, so I found something kind of amazing. What? I'm not going to tell you. You got to see for yourself. Come on, it's this way. Where? Right around here. Going to blow your mind. Well, I feel better now we have a friend. It makes it less scary. Clue found. Oh, wanted poster. Nice. You think we'll get a visit from America's Most Wanted? Looks like someone thought so. Oh, come on. This place is abandoned most of the year. Nobody comes up here. Milgram Victor. Male. Six foot two. Last known in Blackwood Pines. That's where we are. Last seen. The 3rd of the 16th, 1990. Oh, creepy. That was the year I was born. Wanted in connection with a first-degree arson offence, as well as various death threats. Anyone with information regarding this dangerous criminal should contact the BPMC as soon as possible. Okay. that Could that be the guy who keeps watching us? Collect the clues to solve the, the mysteries. Okay, sure. I didn't want to read that anyway. Ta-da! Pretty rad, right? Yeah! Come on, look at these beauties. Uh, beauties is not the word that comes to mind. Why is this even here? What do you mean? W what the hell is a shooting range doing at the base of a ski lodge? Uh, dude, have you ever met Josh's dad? Yeah. He thinks he's like Grizzly Adams or something. Wanna try? Uh, no, you go ahead, Grizzly. All right, here goes. What? I didn't know we were going to be shooting in this game. The fact that they're teaching us how to shoot... Tells me there's more to this game than I thought. I didn't know I was going to get a weapon. I didn't know that. Damn. It's pretty fun though. Bullseye! Wow! Nice shooting tits. Hmm. Alright, I'm bad. I'm a badass. Oh wow. I'm gonna go ahead and guess it was a wild case of beginner's luck. Nah, I don't think so, girl. Oh, okay, here we go. Well, anybody and their brother could shoot a bottle that big, that close. 
I'm not gonna shoot the squirrel. No. Yeah, I'm not gonna shoot the squirrel. We'll shoot the bag. Not the squirrel. <laughs> nice shot. Your ass just got sacked. <sighs> hey, sharpshooter, a ride's coming. Wait, I'm just getting the hang of this. Come on, Chris, the cable car. The story's just updated again. So, I'm guessing choosing not to shoot the squirrel affected that. I wonder what would happen if he did. Man, it is. It's definitely weird coming back up here after a whole year. Yeah, I swear the moment I got here, it just all came flooding back. The year goes fast. Okay, just making sure there's nothing we can pick up. Gotta keep a lookout for those totems. It must be really hard on Josh. I I don't know how he keeps it all together. I I'd be a wreck. Hey, that's weird. Door's locked. Yeah. Uh, Josh wanted us to keep it locked to keep people out. He said that? What people? I I don't know. You said they found people sleeping in the station one time. It's creepy. After you. A oh, real gentleman. Honestly, this game looks pretty nice considering it was released on the PS4. And I thought the car was closer. Guess we gotta wait. I'm starting to get the appeal of killing time at the shooting range. How long is this gonna take? It's a big mountain. Yeah. It's so beautiful in the day, but at night just feels menacing, like sleeping giant. You gonna publish? What? What a crazy place to set up house. I mean, no matter how rich you are. They're not so rich. Family bought a mountain. Hmm. Yep. You gotta be rich to be able to buy a mountain. Oh, what the? Someone's been watching us. There's cameras. Yeah, huh. Is someone gonna pop up on the camera? No? Maybe? Okay, guess not. Is there anything else in this room? I don't think there is. Finally, you coming? Yeah, well, I was gonna stay here and catch some Z's, but... Okay. Like going to the prom. Is it? I don't want prom you've been to. Here we go. Right. Adventure begins. Oh, I hope this was the right thing to do. What? You know, getting everyone together on the anniversary. I mean, Josh seemed really pumped about us all doing something, didn't he? Yeah, no, he definitely did. I haven't seen him so excited about something in forever. Good, good. It's hard to tell with him, and I. Kind of been worried. No, no, it was it was a good idea. I hope everyone else feels the same way. We're all here, aren't we? Thanks, bro. Good talk. <laughs> you know what? Let's just let's just stop talking about what happened and enjoy the trip. Ah, uh, you know what? You're right. You know how Josh and I met? No. Okay. Third grade. Josh sat in the back of the room. I sat in the front. We didn't even know each other existed. But the kid sitting next to Josh started strap snapping the training bra on the girl in front of him. So the teacher made him move to the front, where I was sitting. Okay, so? So I got moved to the back. And? And next to Josh. That's how we met. I mean, and became friends to this day. A match made in heaven. If it weren't for the fact that Jeannie Simmons hit puberty like three years early, and on that day decided to wear a low-cut shirt that showed off her training bra, I mean, who knows? 
you could be riding in this cable car alone. Right now. Or, or talking to some other person entirely. Boom. Butterfly effect. That's kind of crazy to think, isn't it? Jess, Mike's new girlfriend, confident, trusting, and irrever irreverent. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. The new people. Time to meet and greet. Okay, so we're playing as Jessica. <laughs> oh my! What the hell? Jess! Hey! Jessica! Over here! Was that uh, necessary? Uh, you guys having a really weird stroke? We're stuck in this stupid thing. Can you please let us out? Pretty please? I mean, you just made me jump, goddammit. But sure. Oh my god. I thought we were goners. Another ten minutes in there and I would have chewed off my own leg. Oh, sick, Chris. Look, I got a lot of meat on my bones. This is all muscle down here. Yeah, right. Uh-huh. <laughs> Hey! <laughs> well, 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 what do we have Chris. here? Chris! My goodness! Seems that someone has a little crush on our good friend and dear class president, Michael Monroe. Chris. And what kind of sizzling erotica might our Jessica be capable of imagining? I wonder. Insist, give that back. Explain, I'm with Mike now. Um, I mean, there's no need to hide it, right? Mike and M split were together. Oh, drama. Not really. Pretty clear cut, actually. M's out, I'm in. Huh. All right, all right. Let's just get up to the lodge already. It's getting tired of all this nature and junk. Uh, you guys go ahead. I'm just gonna wait here for a bit. See who else is coming. You mean Mike? What? Uh, I mean... You know, whoever. Uh -huh. I mean, way yep. to make it obvious. <sighs> Did you see this view? I mean, holy cow. Sometimes I forget to just stop and take it all in. This is a pretty nice view. Seriously, couldn't they have built the lodge like right where the cable car ends? Oh, Emily, Mike's ex, intelligent, resourceful and persuasive. I don't think it would have been like as pretty. Oh, Matt, Emily's new boyfriend. Motivated, ambitious, active. I can see where there's gonna be some drama going on here. We've got a lot of exes and new boyfriends and whatnot, so could be some drama. No. And where's the bellboy when you need one? All right, Matt, Washington Lodge grounds. Okay. Again, why has everybody arrived so late? <sighs> Getting chills. We're almost there. No, I mean, getting kind of creeped out. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. It's gonna be weird seeing everyone up here again. Definitely not gonna feel like a regular party. I mean, what do you think? Ah! Oh, shit. Ah! Jesus! <laughs> really, Mike? You're. Yeah. Intelligent, driven, persuasive. Oh. Similar to Emily. Okay, he's also Emily's ex, okay. <laughs> you guys. Michael! You really, really should have seen your faces right there. Dude, I almost clocked you just now. <laughs> nice one. Michael, you're a jerk. Come on. Guys, we're all friends here, right? No need for violence, just a little harmless fun. We're up in the woods, it's spooky. Come on, let's get into the spirit of things. The spirit of things? Seriously, what's wrong with you? I'm just trying to lighten the mood, Em. Don't be like that. Like what? The way you're being. You always get like this. Oh, wow. Okay, uh, threaten, back off Mike, or welcome. We're all friends here. I mean, look, there's no need to threaten him. We're gonna be nice. We're gonna say welcome. Michael, I'm just gonna lay it out. Otherwise, this whole weekend's gonna suck ass for everyone. Um, this is super awkward, and we all know it. Let's just uh, acknowledge it now and move on, okay? Matt. I hear you, man. I get it. I don't want to make this weird. Cool. So we're good? All good. 
Yeah, see? You guys gonna make out now? Oh my god, totally. We're so gonna make out. <laughs> uh, no, seriously, I'm gonna go check on the cable car back down the trip. All right. See you, man. See ya. All right, see ya. Okay, bit extra. Oh, crap. What? Hey, could you take these the rest of the way? The bags? Yeah, just all the bags. Um, uh, why? I need to go find Sam. No? Okay. Sorry, I just, I really need to go find her. I totally forgot I needed to talk to her before we get all the way up there. This really can't wait. We're almost there. It's important, Matt, please. Okay, a bit weird. Uh, okay, I'll go. I'm not leaving you alone. I mean, sure, do what you want. All right, fine. If it's so important, I guess I can pack horse it the rest of the way but you owe me one. Excuse me? Well, then we're even, at least. I'll think about it. Just be careful. See you up there, sweetie. Mm. Thank you. I'm not sure about Emily. She seems... I don't know. Matt seems like a nice guy. Emily, not so much. Who knows, though? We're just getting introduced to these characters. Ashley has a crush on Chris. Academic, inquisitive, and forthright. Oh. Oh. Whoa, hello. Yeah, what are you Somebody's up to? Somebody's getting a little friendly. See? I'm not in the friend zone kind of way. They might need to check the expiration date on their big breakup. Mm-hmm. Seriously. Hey, <sighs> Sorry there. Sorry about that, Ash. I didn't mean to scare Jeez you. Louise, well, Matt. I did mean to scare you, sort of scare you, but not like for real oh scare you. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Hey, wow. Man, I'm, I'm really sorry, Ash. Damn. It's okay. It's fine. It's fine. What are you looking at? Oh. See anything juicy with that thing? Uh, it... Let me check it out. Awkward. I mean, oh gosh. Uh, mislead. I'm. It's busted. Encourage. Take a look. I mean, I'm not going to encourage him. Let's just say it's broke. Yeah, it's kind of busted. It's not. It's not like really interesting. It's just. What? <sighs> For real? I, I bet I could find like a cool bear chowing down on a fox or something. Um. Agree. Help yourself. Insist. No. I mean, I'm not going to tell him. You know what? Help yourself. Um. Uh, you know. Um, He's gonna find sure. out, isn't he? Help yourself. Oh. Oh, son of a bitch! Seriously, Emily? What the hell, man? Hey, listen, it's probably nothing. The nothing, you think? Well, yeah. Is it ever just nothing with him? Oh. Ever? I don't know. I... God damn it. Did I make the right decision <sighs> there? Or should I? I don't know. Should I have kept it from him? I mean, it's not really my business, really. Oops. I may have caused a bit of drama. Okay, read a book or check the phone. Check our phone. I ain't got time to read. It's dark, anyway. Who's in the dark? <gasps> oh my. <laughs> Seriously. You did not just do that. Put your hands where I can see them. We've got you surrounded. The hell am I to retaliate? What choice do I, a supple young rebel girl, have but to surrender to the strapping military guard come to take me into custody? Uh, grab Snowball. I, well, I don't know when you put it like that. Hey! <laughs> oh. Booyah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, right hey. in the face. Hey. That's what you get. Yeah. Talking to <laughs> Emily. I see you, Where Mike. Are you hiding, little chicken? Mike seems like a player. Oh! Ah. Hey! Oh snap! You missed. Oh, is that the bird that we saw? <gasps> Hello! Come on. 
I'm a hit, Mike. Hey, Mike. Boom, okay. No, you got me. Okay. <laughs> Sometimes doing nothing is the right thing to do. You can't hide from me, Michael. I know all your tricks. Okay. Well, we're not going to hit the bird. That's for sure. So we don't always have to act on something as well. Oh, I'm going to act on that though. Whoa! Ow! Right. Fine, Jess. And then what? Oh, ho. no more. Oh, oh yeah, oh more. Oh, you're going down. <laughs> <laughs> gotcha. Done. Done. City. So did I go down? Uh, I don't think so. <laughs> I think you'd know so if I did. All right. All right. My my. So are we calling it my favor then? Your worthy opponent. Miss Jessica, the Snowball Queen. Okay, that sounds vaguely dirty. My lady. I'm not gonna ruin the moment. Wow. Save some for later, buddy. <laughs> Endless reserves. We should get up to the lodge. Yeah. It's so nice out here, though. Pretty breathtaking. I mean, I could stay out here for pretty much ever, provided I was making out with you the whole time. Just making out? Quote, unquote. Well, I think we might freeze to death somewhere in between those quotes. Yeah. Oh, we're back here? Hello again. Hello. And how are we feeling? Hmm? It seems we hardly scratched the surface in our last session, so let's go a little bit deeper this time. Okay. This time, we're going to try to understand the root of your anxiety. Now pick up that book, turn the pages. You will see a set of pictures and symbols. I want you to identify which image in each set makes you the most anxious. Men worry me, women worry me. Um, I'm gonna say men. Because they're like bigger than me, you know. Planes scare me, crowds scare me. Um, planes are probably more scary, right? I fear heights, I fear drowning. Oh, that's a good one. I don't really, neither one are ideal, but honestly, the heights. Snake scare me, rat scare me. Uh, it's gonna be a snake. I don't like snakes. Oh. Guns or knives? That's a tough one. I mean, both of them, really. Is there not a choice for both? Either one are not ideal. Ah. Uh, I'm gonna say knife. I feel like a knife is worse, right? If you get attacked with a knife. I mean, getting attacked with a gun is pretty bad as well. Uh, snakes or cockroach? I mean, I don't like either, but snakes are definitely more scary than a cockroach. Oh, clowns, scarecrows. I mean, I know we said earlier, scarecrows scare me from that picture, but clowns scare me. I don't like clowns, okay? What does this have to do with anything anyway? Gore, disgust me. Crows are scary. I mean, what is scary about a crow? Oh my. Oh. Did that startle you? Yes. I'm sorry. You're doing very well. Don't be nervous. 
Well, don't scare me. What is it with the jump scares in this game? Everybody has to scare you. you. Speed up a bit. The more you rely on your instincts, the more honest your answers will be, and the more enlightening you will find this experience. Okay. Oh, okay, this one's tough. I don't like either, but spiders, uh, no. They're just a no for me. I hate them. Go need. I don't fear needles. I don't like them, but I don't fear them. Oh, clowns or zomb scrums, uh, zombies don't scare me. I, I don't like clowns. They're just creepy. Gore disgusts me. I fear. No, I like dogs. Gore or storms. I don't like storms. But I think if I saw gore on the floor, that would that'd be more disturbing than a storm. This is very interesting. Thank you for answering so diligently. Spiders, clowns, mm -hmm. an awful. <laughs> Some combination sounds like a good Friday night. Mm, not really. <laughs> uh, oh, oh. Well, I'm afraid once again we're out of time, but I promise we'll talk again very soon. Why does he look at me? He looks at me so weird. He pulls weird faces. Also, I'm not really sure what's with these little therapy session things that's going on. Alright guys, I think that is going to be a good spot to leave off this first episode. We got introduced to the game a little bit. We also got introduced to the characters. I think that is all the characters. So far, so good. I'm enjoying it. It's intriguing. I'm curious to see how this story is going to continue to unfold. Hopefully you all enjoyed this first episode. Let me know what you think down below in the comments. Hit that like button if you enjoyed. And as always, thank you all for watching and hopefully I'll catch you all in the next video.